Assalamu alaikum dear students welcome to easy maths by Suhail Raza students in our previous video we learned about numbers in maths in today's video we are going to continue the same in our previous video we learned about numbers natural numbers whole numbers positive numbers negative numbers neutral number and integers students today we are going to learn few other types of numbers in this video so in our today's video first number we have even numbers what are even numbers even numbers are those numbers which are multiples of 2 we can say that multiples of 2 they are said to be as even numbers or the numbers which are divided completely by 2 suppose we have a number 10 is 10 an even number or not what we do we divide this 10 by 2 if our remainder is 0 then this 10 is even number if our remainder is greater than 0 then our number is not even number so when we divide uh, 10 by 2 2 5 are 10 so our remainder here is 0 whenever our remainder is 0 that number is said to be as even number or multiples of 2 are said to be as even number or we can say that the numbers that end with digits 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8. So the numbers that end with these digits 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8 are said to be as even numbers. Now students moving forward to next numbers that is odd numbers what are odd numbers now we can say that they are not multiples they are not multiples of 2 or we can say that they are not completely divided by 2 suppose we have number 9 is 9 an odd number or not what we do we divide this 9 by 2 when we divided this 9 by 2 2 multiplied by 4 are 8 our remainder is 1 which is greater than 0 so whenever we divide any number by 2 and obtain remainder greater than 0 at that time the given number is said to be as odd number or we can use that uh, numbers or those digits as well which we have used in even numbers 0 2 4 6 or 8 the numbers that end with d these digits are not odd numbers so after these two numbers there is another type of number they are said to be as prime numbers what are prime numbers now those numbers who have got two factors what are factors now suppose i will take example of number three uh, what are the factors of three that means how we multiply those numbers to obtain three what numbers should be multiplied to obtain 3 that means when we multiply 1 with 3 we get 3 we can't multiply any other number to obtain 3 that means this 1 and 3 are factors of 3 or the numbers that divide this uh, given number suppose 3 is divided by 3 3 1 are 3 our remainder is 0 or we divide this 3 by 1 1 3 are 3 our remainder is 0 so at that time whenever we divide a number by divisor and obtain a remainder as 0 so these are said to be as factors of 3 so here we have got two factors of 3 that is 1 and 3 whenever this happens that a number has got only two factors first the number itself and 1 whenever this happens those numbers are said to be as prime numbers after prime numbers there is another number that are composite numbers so what are composite numbers now those numbers who have got more than two factors suppose 
I am taking example of four. So here I am taking example of four. So what are the numbers that are multiplied to obtain four? Suppose we multiply one with four, we get four. We multiply two with four, we get four. So whenever we multiply numbers to get a number and those numbers are more than two. So here we have got one, two, three. So we have got three uh, numbers here uh, or the numbers that divide the given number and uh, obtain remainder as zero. Suppose we divide this four by four, four, one or four, our remainder is zero. Or we divide this four by two. So two, two or four, our remainder is zero. Or we divide this four by one. One, four or four, our remainder is zero. Whenever there are more than two factors of a number, that number is said to be as composite number. After composite numbers, there is another number that is said to be as unique number. What is unique number now? That number which has only one factor is said to be as unique number. Here we have one that is a unique number because when we divide one by one, we obtain uh, zero as remainder and there is no other factor to one. So that means one is a unique number. And moving to our uh, last uh, number today, that is rational numbers. What are rational numbers now? Those numbers which are in P by Q form. That means numerator by denominator. Numerator by denominator. Which are in P by Q form. That means numerator by denominator form. Where P and Q are integers as already mentioned in previous video what are integers so both these numbers are integers and Q should not be equal to 0 so both these numbers are integers but the denominator cannot be equal to 0 are said to be as rational numbers example of rational numbers suppose 1 by 2 3 by 5 7 by 9 and so on so students this was all about types of numbers or numbers in maths in today's video we learned about even numbers then odd numbers then prime numbers then composite numbers then unique number and then rational numbers so students you all know what you have to do like and share this video and the students who haven't subscribed our channel yet will subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for more video notifications. Inshallah, we will meet in our next video. Till then, Allah Hafiz.